Hey there guys, got the brand new light from the Vivasun range here. It's their AW400 SE and it's got a few innovative features. I um, have to say though, immediately out of the box, kind of was striking me as a little bit gimmicky. So it's got these um, adjustable wings here on the side to adjust the coverage. In theory, you could widen it out like this to cover a wide area or narrow it down, be more intense for a small area. Um, but they work quite nicely. Um, they're on weighted hinges here, so you just turn them and they'll sit where you adjust them to um, quite nicely. And I have to say one of the overall things is it does make it very cheap and I'm going to get into that in a minute. Next innovative feature is the fans inside. So like their Aerolite um, models, it's got two fans in this 400 watt model and as you can see here, by my lovely ladies, my models, <laughs> my little pepper plants. Um, you can see them dancing around there nicely. Now, I did a little check on this as well. I'm, you know, in two minds really as to whether I want a fan in the light itself. Um, but again, we're going to get into the weeds on that in a minute. So, there are two big things. On top of that, 400 watt light fits in a 4x4 standard um, spectrum that you expect, so full spectrum and um, very good value for money. So let's get into that and I'll explain what I mean about being sort of in, in two camps about some of this stuff. So, okay, wings first. So let's just put this in perspective. This fixture is uh, $339. At the moment, if you use the micro code, you get 15% off. So that's $288 for a 400 watt light. And as I'll show you later, good performance this light. So, you know, this is a good light. $288 for 400 watts is very good. And one of the ways they can achieve that is just by having this simple flat panel. And so you don't have the bars, you know, like the typical bar type. Um, with the end beams and all the sort of wiring and, and weight of aluminium and construction that goes into it. So it's very efficient design. Downside is that it is a square and therefore the spread is not exactly optimum to the edges. But hey, you can raise it just a little bit higher than other lights and uh, you can get that spread out. So just looking at the power map that I did, I hung it in a 4x4 at um, its recommended hanging height, which was 14 inches or 35 centimeters. Delivers a fairly decent, so it's 423 watts, and it uh, delivers a pretty decent 688 micromoles average um, for a eff system efficiency of 2.34, which is really good for this, uh, this price point. Really, really good. So, you know, whether I think that these hinges are you know, these wing uh, feature is good for spreading out wider. I don't think it really should be spread out wider because it's a relatively low power intensity al already. Um, but it enables this thing to be packed as one, one piece uh, with very minimal um, material. By the way, they run really cool. So there's no problem with uh, the LEDs overheating. So from that perspective, I think it's a very good design and it's very economical and it's very clever. Coming to the fans, it's a similar argument. So we all use circulation fans in our tents and they cost, you know, you could say maybe $25, $30 for minimum. You could be spending $50, $60 for a decent one that rotates all that stuff. And it's still not gonna get inside. You know, you'll, you'll have it on this corner and it's gonna blow these around, but that corner isn't gonna be. So you might even have two. That's another $70 minimum. This has two included in it for 288. And the discussion about, you know, people will say, but the fans aren't reliable, fans can break down and all that stuff. It's not really the case. Um, you know, there are ball, bearing, um, ball bearings in these. Uh, don't, you know, I've had lots of different fan lights and lots of different fans in lots of different situations. And generally, as long as they're not abused um, and they're well sealed, which I've checked and these are, they should last as long as any other um, component. And so, it's an incredible deal. It's $288 for the light, but you're getting $70 or $80 worth of fans included in it, which you're gonna to have to buy anyway. And this light can be hooked up to the Vivasun Grow Hub system, and you can automate it and put it into, you know, automate your tent, um, and this is just plug and play. So very easy to do. So 
I think it's pretty extraordinary. Um, I'd be very interested to hear what you think. You know, there's pluses and minuses of these things always, but for that pr price point, with that output, with your fans included, it's a nice, neat situation. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy to recommend it because of that. But as always, I'm sure you guys will have different opinions. So please let us know what you think uh, in the comments below. Take care and um, yeah, catch you on the next one.